Yo, how's it going everybody? It's -a me, Mario, and sorry for this video being delayed for so long. I have a bunch of stuff going on in real life, uh, very serious stuff, so uh, hopefully I won't have to delay any more videos, and whatever I have going on will go away soon, and yeah, enjoy the video. Yo, how's it going everybody? It's -a me, Mario, and today I'm going to show you how I made the impossible person. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So, yeah guys, in my last video, I showed you the impossible prison, and I said that I'm going to be showing you uh, how I made it, and the structure of it, and some other stuff. But, first of all, before we get into it, I just wanted to correct myself and say that I actually uh, had a mistake, where uh, I said this was three layers of barrier blocks, this is actually two on the top side, and one on the side. So, like, two up here... You can see there's one, that's two, and then one on the side. So that kind of confused me, and I thought it was three. But uh, without further ado, let's just get straight into how I made the prison. All right, so you might see a couple of uh, weird things on screen right now, like this scoreboard right here and this flashing armor stand. And I'm going to explain what these are right now. So basically, this scoreboard is the amount of armor stands tagged with that armor stands tag right there which is I IDK, like literally this is the armor stance tag, like right, right there, I, I really did not know what to tag it, so I just call, tagged it IDK, but regardless, um, as you can see right here, this is the amount of armor stance, so basically as soon as this armor stand reach is 3, it kills itself, meaning there can only be uh, up to 3 of these armor stands, so if I try to kill this armor stand, then uh, as you can see right here, it's killing one, but sometimes it kills even zero, and then two, and three, and you know, like that. So that's basically the amount of armor stance. But what does this mean? So that right there was to stop people from killing this armor stand. But why exactly is this armor stand so important to the prison? Well, this armor stand is basically what gives you the prisoner tag, which I'm going to go into just in a second. But basically... If you're in a certain distance from this armor stand, you consistently get the tag of prisoner. And um, after you get that tag, that means that a bunch of all the commands basically target you because you have that tag. So the, basically the way that I did it is that if you're in a certain distance from that armor stand, you get the tag. And if you leave that certain distance from an armor stand, from that armor stand specifically, you get teleported back into the cell which is how I made it spectator proof. So if you try to phase through it, you just can't because you get teleported back over there because you left the certain rage from the armor stand, which is how I also stopped it from being teleporting proof. Now, you might be thinking, where are all the command blocks that are making this happen? So basically, uh, if you can check right here, I have no data packs in this world. So data pack list, as you can see, there is no data packs of this, which is the default data for Minecraft. It's just set right there. So where are all these command blocks? So these command blocks are hidden in some place around the world, which um, is force loaded. So uh, now you might be thinking, why can't I just unforce load that chunk? So if you slash force load, remove all the force loaded chunks, it won't it, it as you can see this command still happens and the reason for that is because you can't remove a force loaded chunk that you're not in so basically uh you have to go to that chunk find it and then go there and unforce load it but you have another problem so i already thought of this so what did i do i made two force loaded chunks and since you can't be in two places at once you can't unforce load both of them now, what does this mean basically one chunk is force loading the other and the other is force loading the other one so basically if you leave one chunk it becomes force loaded again and if you leave the other and try to remove it then the other one force loads it i know that sounds like a mouthful but let me explain it very simply okay so what we have right here is let's say our two force loaded chunks this chunk is force loaded by this chunk and this chunk is force loaded by that chunk which basically means as soon as i try to unforce load this chunk this chunk uh makes it go force load again which kind of makes a loop with both of them hopefully you understood that 
and uh, let's get back to the more other explanations. All right, so the last two things that we have in this prison is uh, another scoreboard and how I made it impossible to put blocks in the prison. So I'm gonna start off with a more easier one to explain, which is uh, this, how I made the, uh, how I made it impossible to place blocks in the prison. So basically, uh, in my impossible blocks video, uh, if you slash fill, slash fill repeatedly, then um, you can force load only a hollow area, which is what I did with the glass. Now, anything inside that hollow area automatically gets destroyed which is how I made it impossible to place blocks. I'm gonna show you a real quick example of this right here. All right, so what I have set up here is basically a miniature version of the glass cage over there. So basically, we have a hollow option. So this is what I made. So if you slash fill an area, then uh, you can have this option to, you have a couple of options here, destroy, hollow, keep, outline, and replace. So if you use the hollow option, this automatically makes it like that and it also makes it impossible for other players to put any block in here so it, it it completely makes it hollow all the time so you can't place any blocks in here and that's how i made it impossible to place blocks in the prison all right so the last thing i want to talk about from this prison explaining it basically is the last scoreboard we have right here scoreboard objective set display sidebar so we have prison and we have prisoner what is prisoner as you can see right here it does nothing but if i go into the cell right here as you can see it is one uh now you might be wondering why is there holes in this ground this is a different world from the world i was in just before because if you get in it, it's really complicated to escape and uh yeah so if you're wondering what this is, uh, by reaching a certain limit from the armor stand, you can uh, sort of mine your way down there, but uh, that's that's about it. So anyways, uh, you might be wondering what this is. So basically, uh, you could have just thought, hey, why don't I just remove the tag from me? So um, no, you can't do that. If you tag at a remove prisoner, as you can see, you, you can completely completely like try and remove it but it won't work you you will also always have it as long as you're next to the armor stand which you can't kill so another thing you can try and do is try to override the command by putting another command block but what does that mean overriding other commands so you can actually set block and fill command blocks with commands already in them so i have set up a command right here to remove the tag of prisoner from all players it is been set down somewhere underground but i'm actually going to set it up right here as you can see uh so that is a real command block with a command in it and i'm going to show you the difference of it right here right now so i'm going to be able to go a little bit further than i already was uh before i put down this command now this really doesn't make a change because you still can't escape and this leads us to the final thing in how to escape this prison well by overriding the command of the prisoner right here. I'm gonna try and fix this, but from what I've seen, the only way that is possible to escape it is using the remove command, remove the tag command, and this command right here, which resets the scores of all players with prisoner. So as you can see, it's flashing, and yeah, that's how you escape from the possible prison. So if you've thought of another way that you can escape from this prison, which I haven't thought of, please tell me in the comments and I will try and fix it. I will try and fix this problem right here, but I don't know if it's really possible to fix this because, you know, <laughs> I've already put so much time working in this prison and I've really tried to think of a way to do this. The only way I thought of um, really doing this is by adding another scoreboard to kind of lock this in, but uh, really there's no way of doing it. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did, and uh, the world download for this prison is in the original video, it's constantly getting updated every time I update it, and yeah, I'll see you all later. Peace out.